first this one well, let's see what is going on just for it having a little bit of context so ladies and gentlemen bts uh uh by psi like this is the way that i can read it and we'll definitely going to check the 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 right pronunciation as well so <laughs> Different music genre, the first thing that I can notice now, different music genre, different intro. Okay, um, a very hip hop style thing. Here's the explanation. Uh, BTS website, like ex explained by a Korean. So let's go and watch what is that. <laughs> In light of BTS's new comeback, we are taking a look at their fiercest and most political song, Pepsi. First of all, 
why you need to know this Korean idiom. 뱁새가 황새를 따라가면 다리가 찢어진다. It means when you try to do something that's out of your reach, out of your capabilities, then you will likely fail. Crow tits or pepse have short legs, but storks have very long legs. So obviously a crow tit trying to catch up to a stork will likely fail. Here the storks are referring to people in power, the big companies, conglomerates, and older generations. And in this video, I will focus on the last meaning of older generations uh, because the previous two meanings have been covered a lot by other explanations. Here, BTS is using crow tits as a metaphor for the younger generation or the millennials of South Korea. They are trying very, very hard to catch up with their parents' generation, uh, the baby boomers or the storks. Uh, they also use another metaphor of teacher to refer to the uh, older generation who are born with a golden spoon. They say this because during the ages of the baby boomers in South Korea, they were experiencing huge economic growth and it was extremely easy to get jobs, get housing, and stuff like that. But the economy in South Korea is now at its maturing stages and the side effects of ultra-fast economic growth have boomerang to haunt the current generation. Mm. Currently, the millennials are facing extremely high pricing of houses, as well as high disparity between the rich and the poor, and also extreme all-time high youth unemployment. Uh, that's exactly what's happened in my generation as well back in Iran. Like uh, my, my dad's generation were really easy to, to find a job, to create a job, to become really rich. And when it came to my brother's generation, which is kind of like a decade ago, it's like he's 10 years older than me. Like he born in 1984, 80, 85, I don't know. And in, in his time, things became a little bit harder. And in my generation, which is 1995, things are much more complicated in Iran. Like nowadays a revolution is about to happen in my country. Like. It's kind of like my generation time, the time that we wanted to start working, things were really high priced and it was it was really hard to get a simple car for yourself, a simple house. It's literally impossible. But in my dad's generation, uh, that they, they could have it. And apparently in all Asia, things were in the same way. And South Korean wasn't really an expect. Uh, and um, what would you say it? exception yeah south korean wasn't an exception in this trend you know in this verse bts addresses the social injustices that millennials commonly face in korean society for example, passion pay. This is a very common practice in Korean society where companies basically pay young workers below minimum wage or nothing at all in return for experience. The company's logic is because they are offering a job and an experience that many young people have passion for, they are the ones at, that are actually doing the service for the young people. Enposede is another newly made word that is used to describe the millennials of this decade. They are a generation that have basically given up what many consider to be basic human rights and wants because of extremely high youth unemployment rates and also very low wages compared to living costs. We have many different variations of Enposede to describe the millennials of South Korea. It originally started from Samposede, which is used to describe the millennials that have given up dating, marrying, and giving birth due to economic instability. Then it evolved to Oposede, which added giving up employment and buying your own house. And then it evolved into Chilposede, which added human relationships and hope. Now the word Enposede is most commonly used because they have basically given up all their dreams and hope. <laughs> In these lines, BTS talks about their want to change the system. The word 정상 in the last lines has a double meaning. First, it means normal, and second, it means top. So basically, not only is BTS talking about how this is not a normal situation, society is sick, but also they are saying we are not at the top yet and we have to push further. <laughs> Here 
here Beaches addresses how the older generation blames the millennials for their struggles, saying that it is due to a lack of effort. The word 노력 is pronounced 노력 by BTS, and this is a very commonly used internet slang among millennials to sarcastically describe how the older generation blames them for the lack of effort. Baby boomers often neglect the fact how society is completely different now compared to when they were growing up, and also the economic situation is completely different. They also neglect the fact that a lot of the economic problems that these millennials face today were in fact caused by baby boomers. For example, housing prices that are extremely high so that millennials have basically given up buying their houses. These were driven up by baby boomers buying multiple houses in, in speculation and for investment purposes. Yet many baby boomers simply neglect the fact and tell the millennials that they should try harder, work harder, so that you can perhaps buy a house 20 years later. <laughs> surface level, these lines just simply seem like a cry for help, a call for a helping hand. However, the word pepsia in the very last line is a very clever play on words. Basically, this word would sound like a curse word to the Korean ear. It sounds very, very similar to shipseya or keseya, which are both very serious curse words in South Korea. So not only are they crying for help, and not only are they asking the protests to unite, but they are also calling the older generations Wow. I mean, it's like we, we miss their dance practice, but we can definitely watch a live performance if, if you have any, any link in regard to that, just send it over. Live performance of Pepsi. Okay. Pepsi Crotits. Um, yeah, let's go then. Let's go, uh, Bepsai. Hey, 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 hey. They call me, call me Pepsi. You watch it, Pepsi. Molly, Tracy. What's it, you're getting a lot of shit. They call me Pepsi. You watch it. Look at his dance moves, like incredible.
same things that the guy were explaining it's it's even in their dance <laughs> Yeah. 